I'm just going on a YouTube show. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, come join us on our channel. And um, hi, YouTube. It's uh, we have a counselor coming on to talk to us. She's um, chatting it up. We'll analyze me because I have one earring in. I don't know. Anyway, Why don't you go get your earring. Well, I don't know where it is. Oh. Uh, we'll see you there. Come join us. God, I am terrible at these. I <laughs> At what? You don't know ever what to say. Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> What's that? Why are you laughing? Uh, because it's funny. Yeah, I don't, I couldn't find my earring. So I don't know what's happened to it. So mm -hmm. maybe I should take the other earring off. Oh, I guess you could do that. Yeah. I guess I should take it off. Oopsie daisies. Well, good morning to you. Good morning. YouTube. It's great to see you this morning, bright and shiny <laughs> early. Um, sun shining, sort of. Sun shining. Sort of. It's going to be 60 degrees. Yep. Okay. Um, so how are you? I'm good. I'm having some technical issues. Oh, are we not live? It says we're live, but it's frozen. Oh, there. Oh, it's there. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, it's good. Uh, I gotta mute that and I can hear you. Okay, and then I want you to do me a big favor. Are you ready? You're gonna smile at the camera, okay? <laughs> oh, shoot. Do it again. Ready? Smile. Okay, perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. Appreciate that. It makes my life a lot easier later on when I'm trying to, you know, yeah, get a picture of us not talking, one of us closing their eyes, the other laughing. <laughs> um, okay, so this is Coffee Clutch Numero Ocho, isn't it? I don't know. It's all running together. Numero Nueve. Maybe it's Nueve. I think it might be way. Um, and uh, I got to tell you, I uh, let's see here. I'm not sure if people are coming on. There's no one on. We got we got an exciting guest in ten minutes. Uh, no one's on. Nobody's here. Oh. You just did. You did it on Maverick. I did it on mine. Oh, I can't drop the link. I'm sending you a link in your map in your thing here. You could put that link on your live. That would be great. Oh, let me go there. Okay. Oh, you just sent it to me. Uh huh. Okay, home. No, not home. Oh, what I do? Okay, let's see how I get. I I've done the thing where I. Let's see. We have. I have our. I've updated. I've allowed the new Facebook to come on. You know. Did you get that message? You can try new Facebook. And I gotta tell you, trying new Facebook isn't my favorite thing to do. No, I didn't get that. Oh man, it's like Twitter did an update not long ago too. And uh, why can't I get this? What am I doing? I don't know. Uh oh, let me sign in. Are you kidding me right now? Hang on. Uh, licensed therapist. Crossroads. Renata and Lisa are on. Oh, Kai. Are you on? I should keep this on. I'm just figuring this out now. Oh my gosh, guys, we're figuring stuff out. Well, don't, you got to mute it. What? Oh, I'm trying to share it. Give me one second. Lisa and Renata, good morning to you. I can't, I can't uh, with me today. 
we're, we're, we're moving a little slow with our technology today. <laughs> so what's going on? Hey, Worrying well, me. How's everybody's day? I'm going to tell you um, something that I did yesterday. It was super exciting, sort of. Okay. What was I it? ate too much yesterday. Oh, what did you eat, Ron? Um, well, let's see. I started my day off with um, my normal peanut butter and a banana. Mm -hmm. And then I had made these pinto beans and they were delicious. Like the real ones, you know, the kind that the kids play with at the preschool. Yeah, pinto beans. I know what they yeah. are. So I made those and um, I just in the morning started in on those. I don't know why. You started eating them in the morning? Yeah. Oh boy. How'd that go? Well, then I had a little more later. And then I didn't, my stomach, I, I kind of didn't feel the greatest. And then I planned for a healthy dinner, but then Britt brought me a wonderful surprise. It was really nice. She showed up at my doorstep with a little sign that said, I love you. And she was brought the nice package. Yeah, social distance. Mm -hmm. um, but it had bread and banana bread and cookies. And I had two cookies yesterday. I had some of the bread, which was amazing. Um, I love banana bread. It's so good. It's, I didn't have the banana bread, but I had the other bread. It was like an herb. There was like Parmesan cheese in it. Oh, yum. It was really good. So, yeah, she said it was from this bakery that's kind of struggling right now. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's delicious. Mm. So see my cup, please. You guys, I, do you remember where we were a year? Let's not bring that up. All right. We were a year ago today. We were in Destin. Yeah, we were. We were in Destin a year ago today. <laughs> it was uh, a different world then, but alas, here we are and we're making it through. Um, I didn't, I didn't have a very exciting day. The best part of my day was playing basketball with the children. Um, hi, Angela's here. Hey, hello. You look so pretty this morning. Hey, Angela. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, good, good. Um, What's going on? Not too much. Just trying to figure this out. You guys went to my spam mail, so I had you lost. And oh, I you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're in. We're good. How you holding up? Uh, good. We're holding up, or I'm, I'm holding up pretty good. I'm sleeping quite a bit. <laughs> um, so we have a couple of our friends are on this morning live uh, with us. They're not, you can't see them. They're just in the chat over here. Uh -huh. um, so for those of you that don't know Angela, she's a friend of ours and she's a licensed therapist here in Plainfield with Crossroads Counseling. Yep. That's um, me. And uh, yeah, so we thought she might come on and share a few ideas on uh, how we might, you know, get through this really, really weird yeah. time. It's so weird. It's definitely weird. And it's weird how people are processing it. It's really all over the map. And I'm just trying to get my own head wrapped around things and, and my family and, and obviously, obviously my staff and, and mm -hmm. clients. And, and the responses I'm getting are just really, it's all over. And I don't know if it's too soon where people just can't take this all in and what it means and trying to follow directions and trying to keep up with things. Because literally last week was insane which is trying to be like what do we do and and where are we at so i'm getting the same feel with people i talk to so i keep asking like you know just trying to check in like what does this feel like and it's it's interesting some of the individuals i thought would be a really amped up and and super highly anxious have been like you know i'm i'm kind of okay i, I i'm i'm already geared for high anxiety so this is just it's, it's not really triggering so it's just been super interesting and and just trying to figure this all out so yeah, yeah. How's, your, how's your kids doing <laughs> they're good I'm not a homeschool mom I know that like that's very interesting on top of everything else so <laughs> they are and I think kids too it's really like just getting them to process this and yeah trying to you know really be extra patient as a mom and and, and trying to 
um, calm some of their just, you know, just they're crabby. They don't want to be locked inside. They want to play with their friends and, and trying to do that at social distancing. That's just not, it, it's, it's a challenge on every front. So it's, it's definitely, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's wild. It is wild. I know <laughs> yesterday, my uh, sister-in-law is in the, te- the Nashville area. She lives in Murfreesboro. Mm-hmm. And they were extended to the homeschool until April 24th. Yep. And yeah. I mean, I don't think it's far off for us to be extended longer, right. you know, right. I'm, w- I'm with you. Like I did not sign up to be a homeschool mom. Um, right. I think it's possible to do some things. Yes. But realistically, if I was a homeschool mom, I wouldn't also have a full-time job. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I all that much more appreciate my, my teacher friends and I, I was in education for a minute and I got it. And I was like, nope, I just, I'll do this. This other career sounds much more appealing. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so it's crazy. And I have um, some of my, my um, teacher friends are like, oh yeah, we, um, we're putting, you know, foreign language into the cu- curriculum. And, and today we're going to, we're doing some little Italy and, and, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm lucky you might remember English through this. I, yeah. <laughs> I can't even think of it. <laughs> for language I don't I don't know yay yeah so no it's it's like how do you it's it's one of those things where like we're mentally distracted mm-hmm. they're totally meant, everybody's world has like flipped in a, in right. like an instant yes and it's like how do we like yeah go to this weird red like I've kind of just been letting them do their stuff as they want. <laughs> the free for all. And I'm the therapist. Oh my God. Yeah. Just do your thing. Well, give me a couple days like to just get my head around this. It's fine. It's fine. I got it. I, I think I'm started like last Thursday. I'm like, okay, let's sit down. Tell me everything you've got. And like, I made this big list. I don't know where that went. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So I've been just like, even like it, myself and with everybody I know and my, my clients, like just give yourself grace. Like this yeah. is the time to yeah. give yourself grace. We're not looking for expectation. We're just trying to get through the day. And, and that's a lot of what, you know, even when people have asked me like, and I compiled some things to put together to like, you know, what, what are some good mental health stuff? And, yeah. and to me that resonates on, on many levels too, of just being able to keep it in today and stay mindful and, um, you know, for me, it's a, it's a lot of just calming kind of mantras or, or whatever you need to put in place to, to, to like, it's, it, this will pass, this will pass that keeps coming to my ha- my head and, you know, don't touch my face and this will pass. That's all the same, <laughs> same phrase. <laughs> and wash your hands. I, post, I posted this thing. It was the funniest thing ever yesterday. This guy huh? washes his hands and then he touches, you know, he shuts the boxes <laughs> off and he's like, ah, yeah. And then he like washes the faucet and then he's like, like this. and then he's like, ah, so he washes and then he's like, it was like hilarious. I'm like, that's exactly. Right. Some good ones. Yeah. yeah the, the memes are what's getting us through, I think. That's right. Was, for sure. And- yeah. And that was my other, one of my other tips is like really find the humor. Like there's no doubt, like just laughter is going to. Yeah, I got my friend Quarantino here. <laughs> yes. <Wilson. laughs> right. He's like my Wilson, you know, I can hug him. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. He doesn't talk back. So nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, so have- are you guys open? You know, some of our therapists are, we are an essential business, so we're able to stay in place. Some of our th- my therapists are, are doing so. Others, a lot of us are hopping on to telehealth. And, and again, it's, it's a lot of glitches with, with trying to be able to do um, technology. Many of us are like, oh, we don't, this isn't what we're comfortable with, but it's working. You know, we're getting through it. And, and everybody understands people are, are very much, they're, they're patient and, yeah. and getting it. And so from our nurse practitioners and psychiatrists to that are other, you know, just all of our therapists, like they're, they're kind of um, they're just figuring out. And some people are like, you know, we'll wait a minute. We're okay. Like, and, and it, there's, it's, it's difficult to talk about anything else. So a lot of like, you know, our, our goals and treatment plans have just kind of um, it's all over the place and trying to figure out like, okay, what, what were we working on? And now what are we working on? So it's just, it's very interesting how it's impacting just everybody in, in such yeah. different ways. It is. It is. I had a, uh, 
Zoom get together, I actually am seeing people quite often just online, you know, mm -hmm. like I've had drinks with my family, I've had drinks with my friends. That's awesome. Yeah. But it is, um, it's just not the same as like a hug, you know? Exactly. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the same as physical interaction. No. For sure. For Did sure. you go on a walk yesterday with Adele? A social distance walk? No, that's today. Today. I'm supposed to do a social distance walk. We'll yeah. See. Yeah. My dog is, um, he's a little unstable, so he's loving this. Like, he's not good with people, so it's been great to, to actually walk the dog and get him out there. And um, so, so yeah, he's, this is meant for him because he definitely needs a little so social distancing on, on a normal day. The, so, the, the um, friends of America have never been happier. Right? <laughs> one, of, one of Francesca's friends uh, met at the high school they like a bunch of them met at the high school and they sat the girls sat on their on the roof of their cars <laughs> and a police officer came and they actually thought they were going to get you know yeah. trouble sure. trouble sure. and instead he took a picture and posted it on Facebook That's and awesome. said good job girls cuz he yeah. you know cuz this is hard for them i mean Absolutely. my daughter's 17 and it's like she's like yeah yeah she's handling it very very well and they're yeah. doing, I mean I'm really proud of them and they all and I have to like they're learning this is a huge lesson for all of us right Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. but it's like yeah I've been kind of I don't really worry about too much how much phone time for <laughs> I'm not like I've not been too policey I guess I should say yeah 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 yeah. Help them every now and then to get off of the devices. And then they get off and then they get back on. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. How much can they, you know? I right. actually, we started a puzzle. Um, it's a thousand piece puzzle. Bad idea. Because I don't even have the patience for that. You know, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> it's still just sitting on the table. I'm used to like, you know, like a preschool size puzzle. <laughs> right. Ellen, Ellen, That's like, a little ambitious. <laughs> Yeah. Ellen had something on that she did a puzzle. She had this like huge puzzle the size of her table, right? She had <laughs> it all out, and um, she had called like Jennifer Aniston or something, and because she kept calling her, it's like, "Hi, hey, what's up? Are you?" And she said, um, "Jennifer's like, well, how's that puzzle going? Oh, well, I think it's too big for the table." And Jennifer's <laughs> like, "Well, why don't why don't you put it on the floor?" And she's like. I don't like that idea either. So yeah, she has, she's like I'm animals. Hysterical. <laughs> yeah, people are getting creative. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta yeah. stay sane. I did say to Rhonda, I feel like I'm sleeping more than I ever have, which is probably something to re yeah really watch. Also, you know, just it's, how if that leads into again from the mental health piece of things right. like that. You're just not getting too, you know, dragged down and, and sucked in to all of this. And yeah. I know. I did think that this morning. I w So last night I went to bed at like 930, maybe 10. And then I was up again to get the kids to sleep at 11. And then I, I slept until about 745, which is late. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this is not okay. Right. <laughs> get out of bed. Yeah. So what are your, are you giving people tips on what, like, what are yeah, your? Yeah, yeah. You know, I think it kind of my, it, 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 some of my bigger ones are, I, I love mindfulness and I know that's um, kind of a trendy term for a while, but it, as far as therapeutically, it's, it's great to, to just really kind of keep you centered and, and really just an awareness of staying in the moment, staying present. I think we all get so kind of jacked up in our head and, and mm -hmm. we start getting these thoughts and, and it's hard to, to kind of get get out of your head and back into your body and, and that's essentially mindfulness is just being present being intentional being in the moment um and and not letting your thoughts just dictate your mood run your behavior so it's really like okay i get your head i know what you're doing like but you just don't want to get hung up in so much catastrophic thinking and i think that's that's definitely where we this can easily lend to and kind of yeah. get us all you know, amped up with some of that thought process. So really, essentially, you know, mindfulness, like bring it back, kind of find ground zero, breathe. You know, one of the things we, we talk about is four square breathing too, and just breathing in through your nose for four seconds, holding for four, releasing through the mouth for four seconds, and just, you know, laying, laying for four. So it's really that kind of that box circle of breathing. So breathing mindfulness, 
basic kind of anxiety tips that that really can be helpful. And, and there's there's a ton of stuff too to, to research and to, to really look at what mindfulness means from informal to full on like formal meditative stuff. Like there's just good stuff with that to be able to just relax, calm, just bring it back to present. And, and that's, that's kind of my go-to. And um, talking, like, I love this. I love what you guys are doing. That's why I was like, yeah, I'm in. Like, I, I, I love that idea of being able to just process some of this, being able to share, like, you know, I feel crazy. I'm feeling out of sorts. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Or, you know, what does this mean? And, and again, trying not to get so hung up because things just kind of shift rapidly with what's mm-hmm. happening. So right. I was telling her the other day, I would feel like I'll have like a day where I'm like, really kind of sad and grumpy mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I'll have a day then the next day I'll be like okay I got this right 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 you know like but but it's like this constant back and forth I go through yeah. it. I'm like and then the next day it'll be like okay I miss my friends and like I'll right. get like, tearful and like I miss yeah. my normal routine and I'll yeah but then the next day I'm like okay I'm good Right. Yeah, it's, this, it's that mood instability. You're all over the place. Oh with it. And I'm like, that's why it's like, wait, and I wake up every morning. It's almost like that surreal thing. I'm like, wait, is this really going on? Can I go and do my normal day? And it's just such a weird thing. And I know everybody else can really, they relate to that. It's so relatable. We're all in the same boat. And that's, that's my other tip is like, this is universal. Like when there's safety yes. in numbers, like we're really kind of, there's something like we're all literally together. going through this the same We're thing all, we can all, <laughs> all, all in this together yeah it is good. funny like when I even go for a walk like there's so many people out walking which I've mm-hmm. never seen like whole families which is right all right right and when I'm walking like they're actually smiling and saying hi mm-hmm. like usually exactly. it's just me like and I'm like, okay. exactly. they're not very friendly. Like, yes. I'm like, now people are so friendly. happy to see humans. I think. Yeah. Yes, right. So right. Like, like, first, they kind of look at you like weird. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of give you like a, huh? I wonder. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, Hi. In yeah. the house or out? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. I do think it's interesting how it's like leveled everything everybody is in the same boat it doesn't matter how much you make what color your skin right. you know like it's all everybody is the same exactly right. exactly yeah. which is interesting for sure yeah i mean and worldwide like globally to think like i have a friend in brazil and and it's interesting i haven't facetimed with her yet but like to really be like what's going on over there what does it feel like on on your end and and to really you know, and, and they obviously do things differently. So her husband's actually on a, they do vacations like a month at a time. So he's been off and she's been able to work from home, but even like, like that's just a world away and, and how it's really like, they're just, it's exactly the same. And she's like, mm-hmm. I've read about Illinois and I've been thinking about you. And, you know, so we are like, you know, it's definitely something like even worldwide that they're, uh, we're on their news over there. It's just crazy. crazy. It is crazy. You do wonder, and this is what my, when I think forward, I think like, how will it alter for a little while in terms of like, are we going to go to like, okay, so you'll have a month on and a month off or are they going to shift like how we get to go back out into public, you know, right, right. Just, like control the virus longer than they, right. I don't know. I think, I think that kind of thinking does kind of mess with me a little bit more than <laughs> just trying to be present and do my work right. and take care of yep. my kids. If I keep my brain in the small it, little box, there you go. But <laughs> I'm what good, we, but if what, I sit what, down what and like we have control over, right? But we have control over exactly. But yeah. when, like two nights ago, I sat down and I watched the BBC news. Don't do that. Do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't do that. Whatever you do, if you're gonna watch news, watch news local news. Don't watch yeah. the BBC. <laughs> yeah, it's like Iran is not listening to the rules. <laughs> So it is interesting, but you're right. Like the, the more I stay within the four walls of things I can actually control, right. I'm happy. I mean, it's like, you're kind of oblivious to, and I think it's better for my sanity, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. And so much, even what we talk about daily in therapy is a lot of just, you know, fear and control. And there's so many, that's such an underlying theme with so many mental health issues. It's fear and control. Like we're either 
afraid of something or we don't have control over something and boom, right now we are all living in fear and control. So it's how do you manage fear and control and, and what are the best ways and, and just trying to be like, you know what, sometimes I'm, I'm just going to, to, to lose it a bit and I need to cry or I need to vent or I need to just kind of, I ran three miles yesterday and on a treadmill, which is a little bit, a bit mm-hmm. fine, it's fine, whatever. And, um, you know, like that's, that's part of just being able to alleviate that and just finding those ways that individually kind of tap into you with like, well, how do I deal with fear and control? And sometimes I just need to put it through, process it. Sometimes I need to give into that and allow that emotional discharge and, and see where I'm at on the other side. And, and yay, it might have worked and, and it may have not. And just give yourself grace. Like I keep saying that, give yourself grace. I like it. So have you got some tips on Facebook or something we could show people or the website? I do. You know, actually on my, um, I posted it um, on our Crossroads Counseling Services uh, Facebook page. You can like that. It's in a letter format. I'm not that technologically savvy. So it's kind of in two pieces, but it's, it's there or on our website too. And it's under emotionally navigating COVID-19. It's on a tab there. Okay. Great. There's some, I think it's, you know, kind of um, my two cents of, of what I've kind of collected and gathered. And, and I, that was like kind of when this really went down last week, I just needed a place to, to purge some of that thought and, mm-hmm. and writing. And I encourage people journaling through this time, like what interesting thoughts that would bring about and, and really to re- be reflective on that there could be some good stuff. Yeah. I journal in the mornings. Um, and I think it's interesting. Every time I do, I write down like the date and then I'll write like how many days I've been on quarantine. <laughs> I think like when my kids are older, it'll be interesting for them to have that. Like, this is what we did that day. Cause they have such like such memory being built right now. Absolutely. You know? And, oh, I think yeah. it'll be, and I've encouraged them to write in their journals, but of course, I don't know if they are or not because <laughs> <laughs> I'm down here, you know, like, I'm right checked there. out. Right? <laughs> I'll see you at lunch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck up there. <laughs> All right. Well, we need to wrap it up and move on with our days, ladies. You guys have uh, busy stuff going on. You got lots happening or? I'm going in the office for a minute and just kind of checking in on things. And I got a couple of um, online sessions that I'm going to try and, and, and uh, figure out. So yeah, good. yeah, yeah, That's good. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So That's thank good. you for having me. This is awesome. Okay. Benefit. Yeah. Yep. It's good. I'm glad to have you. If you ever want to join us together, let me know. I will. I will for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Great to see you, Angela. All Bye. right. Here. So we are going to move on to our prayer. Anybody have prayer requests? I don't know who we got here. Prayer, whoop, whoop. Any prayer requests? Okay, um, so I honestly like, she's, she's just a breath of fresh air. She is. You know, I'm, she really she, is. She's really a... I, I, I always enjoy talking to her. I do too. Um, so <laughs> prayer requests, any prayer requests, just put it out there on the chat. We'll see what happens. Um, my grandfather continued prayers for him. He had a rough mm-hmm. night the other night. So Did he? yeah, it's getting, I have, it's getting nerve wracking, honestly. <laughs> Is he, uh, still at home? He's still at home, but that's what we're trying yeah, to keep him home. Him. So and my mom is very, very stressed. Yeah. So. All right. Well, <coughs> I think we're going to lift up the same folks in prayer today. Um, yeah. And, and the country and all that. Wondering how Brit's in-laws are doing at, oh, in South Africa. Wonder what's happening there. Yeah. Um, and then when you see Adele later, would you ask her about her, um, I think it's, husband's family Antonella yeah and um did she say her younger brother Plinio yeah he was sick last week yeah she thought he had it so I wonder about I'd like to hear about that she's not here today but um yeah so the list of people that we have been praying for uh recently is Julie's friend who lost her husband uh, Norma Jean, who also lost her husband, Brits in laws, and obviously first responders, 
Oh, there she is. Uh, Adele says her heavily preg sis and teenage daughter. Oh yeah, the teenage kids, man. I was up late with mine chatting about all the craziness. Um, so Adele, how, how is Antonella and her family doing in Plinio? What's going on there? Um, folks, folks with some, um, anybody struggling with this, if you're having a hard time, we're praying for you and hoping that you reach out, um, yeah. get outside and, um, don't. It's okay. We're all kind of struggling. We're all struggling. Don't we all speak. have days where we're like, want to have a, have a friend in quarantino. Yeah. I, my, my go-to when I'm feeling a little blue is bed. <laughs> so, I know that about myself. Like I will just shut my curtains because I have like blackout curtains and just leave me alone. And so when I start heading in that direction, I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta change that. Yeah. Um, all the teachers, I really appreciate everything they're trying to do to get connected with uh, the kids. Grace had a Zoom with her teacher yesterday and that she was really happy, you know, like oh, I think that that's like gives them kind of uh normal. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's FaceTime and stuff. Yeah, and, and I told, that... oh, go ahead, sorry. It's okay, go. I just told Francesca that we can probably arrange some social distant parties. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh boy, here she's screaming. <laughs> All right. Um. So today I'm sharing with you Exodus, thirty. Oh boy, two. No, Exodus thirty three fourteen. In the Old Testament, the Lord replied, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Uh, that's one of the things I keep in mind at night when I'm having a hard time falling asleep. I pray a lot and it like calms my mind and then I sleep like a baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about I you? Agree. I pray a lot, like yeah. a lot. <laughs> do you, do you have a, a I do. I have something. Um, and then I was thinking about that breathing she was saying. Yeah. We need to go look for that yoga breathing that we I know. Have. We do. We did a thing, guys, with uh, Melissa from Soul Flow Yoga. Soul Flow Yoga. And she did a breathing technique. It was like the yoga breathing. We have yeah, the footage. Ron, Ron is going to try and find the footage. To relieve the anxiety. Yeah. So here we go. It's a prayer and then a verse and a little saying. Mm -hmm. I ask God to remove your concerns and replace them with faith as it happened yet. Therefore, do, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Tomorrow is busy worrying about itself. Don't get tangled up in the worry webs, which I think is something we all kind of do right now, the worry webs, like what's gonna happen or just a lot of future worry, right? That we don't have control over. So praying for everybody, love everybody. Yep. Um, tomorrow, do we know what's happening tomorrow, Rhonda? Oh, I gotta get in contact with Lori today. Okay. We have someone who's homeschooled for a very um, long time. Um, her oldest daughter is Francesca's age. And she still has one that she homeschools at home, the younger, because she, they've gone off to high school because she gave them the choice either to go to high school or homeschool. Um, but she's very organized, very, has a lot of, I think, tricks up her, her sleeve of how to make, maybe have some tips for us that have no idea what we're doing. I know. So, I'm, and I'm it, not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> It's okay. And it's like kind of nice that we're all collectively coming together, bringing something of, and she was, she's like nervous to come on. I'm like, you'll be fine. And it's yeah, like, fine. you know what? It's something she's good at. So it's, it's like, I think collectively as we can all take something from some, everybody's yeah. got something. For sure. All right, ladies. I hope you have a great day. Rhonda, have a great day. You too. Love you all. Bye. Bye.